guys, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with another Dust Collectors Get Ready With Me. This is a collab that Paula, Verity, Amy, and I all do together. Paula and Verity were awesome and agreed to let Amy and I join in this project and I couldn't be more excited. So every month, we choose products out of our stash that have been collecting dust that we you know, need to start using again. So this month I chose to use the Ofra Samantha March collab. I have not used this palette at all yet. And I'm kind of ashamed about that because I, I love Samantha and I love Oprah over his quality. I just don't like them as a company right now. Then I also chose this bunk buxom plump line lip liner in the shade hush hush. And I'm going to use this as an all over lip color. I have to get used to, I'm filming on my phone instead of my camera. So it's a little bit, I'm like, where do I look? Where do I look? So I've already done my base and now I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to do the cheek because if you look in this palette, you'll see that it's an all over um, palette. So the eyeshadows are up here, the blush, the highlight and the bronzer and Samantha um, came up with all of these shades. So I'm super excited to use these um, and I'll, I'll let you know how I'm, you know, what I'm choosing to put in as I put them in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this color called 09. And I'm, I'm just gonna use it as like an all over color right now. I'm gonna dip in and just kind of use it all over and then up into my transition area. I just want like a pretty mauve base. So I'm gonna go up there. I have a mirror down here, which is why I'm not looking into the phone. So I hope that's okay with you. So anyway, things have been a little nuts. I figured I'd use these um, dust collector get readies with me to tell, like, just fill you in on some stuff. My sister is due with a baby at the end, well, beginning of September, but she'll probably have him at the beginning or end of August. Um, it's another boy, and this is, I think, the last child that my sister is planning on having. I say planning because you never know. Um, she's already got a son and a daughter. And I am godmother to her daughter, and I couldn't love those kiddos more. They're so stinking cute. So, um, all right, now I'm going to go in with, I think I want to take ink. It's this shade right here, and I'm going to put that in the crease. Um, so I couldn't be more excited to have another little baby in the family. And um, so... You know, we've been talking about doing like a little sprinkle for her and, you know, with all of our schedules and things being up the air, I have some, I have some construction stuff going on and, you know, obviously she's prepping for a new baby. Her sister-in-law is um, in Allentown and so they're far away. Her in, her, my sister's in-laws live near New York City. So it's, you know, everybody's kind of all over the place and we've all got stuff going on. This is really pretty. I like this a lot. Um... And we just, you know, we kind of talked about it and then didn't talk about it. And now it's like, oh my gosh, it's here. The baby's going to be here in like maybe a month and we got to do something. So we were going to do like a sip and see. I am going to now go in with the shade Maya, which is this one right here. It's a little bit of a shimmer. It's really pretty. So we were going to do a sip and see. And my sister was kind of thinking about that. But then we were like, you know what? With everything that's going on with COVID and the new variants that's kind of coming in, this Delta variants, we were like, you know, that might not be the best idea to have like a brand new baby and have all these people there. So we nixed that idea. We decided no. Well, my sister decided no, which we're all fine with. And so we decided to do her little sprinkle this weekend. So last minute. So now we're um, going out. I'm also going to put over that the shade honors, which is this shade right here. Um, so we're all like scrambling and making sure we're inviting everybody and um, last minute, you know, coming up with a plan. So it's going to be a little hectic, but I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to see um, my sister's in-laws. 
I really enjoy them. Next up, I'm going to go in with the shade Ram, which is this dark purple shade right here. I'm going to go into the outer V or outer seven. I call it my outer seven. Thank you, Geek Out of Water. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited to see her in-laws. They are such wonderful people and we all get along really well. But in the meantime, I'm getting some work done at my house. I'm waiting on getting blinds installed in my kitchen. I'm thinking about getting a new kitchen floor because I can't stand the one that's in there now. It is so crappy and it's grooved tile. And if you have grooved tile, you'll be like, oh, I know. It is so um, hard to clean. It, everything gets stuck in those little grooves and then you got the grout and it's, it's just gross. So I really wanna get a new kitchen floor. Um, I'm going to take this um, highlighter now called Dream Chaser in the middle there, and I'm going to use that, I'm going to use my finger, and I'm just going to place that on the lid as like a little topper. So anyway, so that's what's going on in my house. Then in my house, I had ordered new furniture. I ordered a recliner chair for like my middle space where like you walk in that door, and I wanted to have like a little reading nook there. Okay, I like that. And... um. I ordered that and then I ordered um, a really nice sectional for the living room with a nice big ottoman in the middle. So a couple weeks ago, the chair and the ottoman were ready to be delivered. So I got my little love seat out of the living room thinking I'll put it, I'll put my ottoman in there. The, the couch can't be further along. I still don't have my couch. So I moved the chair in the living room. So I look like I'm camping. I have my recliner and my ottoman next to it. So my dog can sit next to me and hang out. It's quite a sight. Let me tell you. But it's okay. I'm going to do some liner. I'm going to use this is from my um, shot my sash. So needless to say, it's been a little bit exciting around here. And then I did dog sit my friend's dog for a little while. So that was interesting to say the least. He um, he's a good boy, but he was not a great boy. And he was he started going to the bathroom in the house. I think he's He's so used to like being able to go outside all the time. They live in the country and um, he's able to just kind of go in and out and they have four people in their family. So they're in and out all the time. And I think he was just used to that. So anyway, long story short, he's back home with them. Um, yeah, so I've just been kind of, you know, putzing along here. All right, so now I'm gonna use the blush, the highlighter and the bronzer. I'm not gonna talk product through them because you know what they are you know what a bronzer is you know what a highlighter is I think although my friend Lisa she's so funny I did my um colors for cancer collab and I decided to do ovarian cancer if you saw my video that was posted earlier in the week you'll see that um I did it and then she was so funny she's like and what do you use bronzer for and what do you use highlighter for it's like we were laughing she doesn't she, like and I posted a video or I posted a picture of her makeup that she owns and it was really compared to mine I, well I didn't do it compared to mine, but compared to mine it's hysterical because she just has no clue what to do with anything which is fine but like I said in the video too she doesn't need a ton of makeup so she's gonna go. all right highlighter um nope I'm gonna do blush first blush See this oh that is such a pretty blush I love this blush so I really like this project because I feel like it allows me to um, use things that like I haven't used yet in my collection or that have been sitting around so I'm really excited to have been able to participate in this and I'm going to use the highlighter in here Oh wow, bam, that's pretty. Guys, I love highlighter. Do you like highlighter? Or is it like, are people over it? I, I love to look dewy and who blinding. I love it, I love it, I love it. Isn't that from like a Saturday Night Live thing or something? Um, and last but not least, my setting spray. Ben mascara. So while that's drying, I'm going to curl my lashes. Hello. 
So yeah, so what have you guys been up to this summer? I'm a teacher, so I have summers off, and I always say I love having the summers off, but I hate the actual summer because I hate being hot. So I wish like we had a different season off, but I'm not complaining because I'm really excited that we have that. Um, so what have you guys been doing? I love mascara. I feel like a look is not like you could go out of the house with mascara and lip gloss on and look like a million bucks. Well, you can look like a million bucks without putting on makeup too, though, which is what I do most often. I don't really wear makeup. It's, it's not funny. I have a makeup YouTube channel and I hardly ever wear makeup, although I am getting better at wearing it and I really like it. It's like soothing and I feel like it's very creative for me because I'm not a very artistic person. I'm a very crafty person. I knit, I crochet, I do other kinds of things craft wise, but I am not an artsy person. So that helps me. And then I, I, I do use two. That one's more of like a volumizing. This one is more of like separates and sculpts my lashes and lengthens a little bit so I've been using both of these at the same time I never used to cocktail mascaras and then somebody had said something about doing it I think it was um it's just stuff I watch her and I think she was saying how she layers and I was like well let me try I don't know I can't say that it does a huge makes a huge difference but okay so what do you guys think? I love this. I love the color. I think it's so pretty. I love the way they applied. Um, I think that the range of shades in here is so pretty. I think that you could do like a real neutral look, but then you can like darken it up. Um, I'm really happy with it. I love the complexion products, like super excited. I love the blush color. I love the highlighter in the, in the bronzer. They are gorgeous. Let me do my lips. It's a little too nudie, but I'll take it. So this is that Buxom Hush Hush color, the plumping lip liner. And then I also put on Ofra Gloss in Millie. This was another Samantha March collab. She collabed and made this shade as well. So yeah, so here's my completed look. Um, I hope you like it. Please watch all the other ladies' videos. I will link their channels in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I will talk with you soon. Bye.